Holy heck, it is gorgeous out here today. Good morning guys, welcome to Tuesday. We are down at the barn. Sam did chores for the last four days. He had four days off and did chores. Hi, Penny Pickle. <laughs> Hi girls. They're like, whoa. How come you're here? He's so calm. Whoops. He is so calm, so quiet, and so relaxed. They're like, <laughs> have to rev it up for the, for the girl gang. On the weekend I wanted to clean the barn, but we didn't get to it. We did other stuff. We got busy, but the house got spring clean. Ah, oh, Penny Pickle. Are you shaking? You're just excited for food? Look at those ears. Is that what it is? There you go. That's your food. That's a girl. All right. Oh. Back it up, sister. Back it up. Cute little pony. Beautiful girl. Yes. Gracie is both our most beautiful horse. Hey, we should rate our horses. I'm gonna look that into that. What? I'm gonna, oh, good morning. Whoa, what the heck? Good. <laughs> it's a spooky kind of day. Yeah, what's the temperature, I wonder? Because we're all dressed spring-like. Um, yeah. It is. Winter, uh, when it's absolutely freezing out. Yeah. It's cold in here. Seven degrees in here. Seven. Oh, we gotta go. I gotta clean oh, this arena shirt. today. Look at our look a, at our gang. Why is there a thing right here? Look at our beautiful gang. Look at them right. already. Like just wait, look. They're almost all the Mine same size. Oh wait, that's a that almost was a perfect picture of okay. size. All right. Sit. Why does she wait. have to sit? Oh I see, because you're okay, go. doing rules with her. We rules. <laughs> Get your toy. Good morning. It would be nice to see the cats, but the cats run when they hear us coming down because yeah. Okay. Dogs so, are terrible to them because Ruby chases the cats. So I love learning a bad habit. What's your bad habit? Digging. Yeah. She's a digger. Like She's a digger. Dig. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish I could have showed you. Don't throw too much. Okay, that's probably good. This morning, um, I was trying to tell Daisy, like, we have rules about like, Daisy is such a troublemaker because of her love. She's so a troublemaker because of her love, you guys. She always wants to hug and kiss. So every morning when I wake up, I have to lay in my bed for 20 minutes, hugging and kissing her and spending time with her. Oh, okay. And it's all good. But then when I'm ready to get up and make my bed, I have to say, get down off my bed. And she doesn't think that she should ever have to get down off my bed. And so today I was teaching her by doing sign language and saying no in sign language. And it was so crazy because I, I, she couldn't hear a single thing I was saying. She couldn't hear my voice, she couldn't hear my tone, nothing. And I was just using sign language and I was going no, no, like that to her. And she was like putting her head down like she was in trouble. Like she can tell, like it's, it's amazing how sign language works. All right, this is Gabby as a six footer. Could you imagine if she was taller than me? That'd be bad news. I, I would not want that. <laughs> she, she would not want that. What? I'm done growing. Yeah. Early. She's done growing. We're pretty sure she's done growing. Like no, what? She hasn't grown in a yeah. year. She can have a growth really spurt. Since I was 10. Yeah, she literally. Yeah, she's probably grown a, an inch since she was 11. You stopped growing at 11. Oh my goodness, you're like a runway model. Look, I don't have no treats, I don't have my coat. You're like a runway model. Oh, you are too. Look at that, they're sporting shavings and bed head. Oh, well hello, Penny Pickle. I know your dad's not here to give you treats. I know it. I got nothing. This is the new thing. You stop on the ramp. <laughs> Uh-oh, I got no treats. Let me go see if I have a carrot. All right, little bite, we're sharing this carrot. Good girl. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, there you go. I have some for you too, Willow. Just a little bite. Good girl. So 
it's true, now that Easter's over, everybody's gonna start eating better again. We got kind of sloppy at before Easter. And the horses are just chubby no matter what way you look at them. What'd you do? Nothing. Sophie stole my pitchfork, you guys. She stole it. We are super picky about our pitchforks. Super, super picky. Because this pitchfork, the, the things don't dig into the ground. See it? They don't dig into the ground. Like, it's hard to pick anything up. And it's super heavy. And the handle is really slippery. So it slides in your hand. It's awkward. It's heavy. It's a terrible pitchfork. It doesn't even work. Like, it does not a good job at all. All right, so here is the saddle. If you guys missed yesterday's video, I got this saddle. Uh, my coach found it for me. It is for sale. It is leather and I am trying it on Penny. We tried it on her already and it fits her. Like it actually fits her. And this might be our saddle. It's nice and light. It's not the color. Like I like this color better. Or like, I, this is not my favorite color. I oiled it last night and cleaned it. And it looks still a little dirty. Um, it's not my favorite color. Anyway, I'm excited to try it. I'm excited to see how Penny moves in. I'm gonna have a lesson in it really soon. I do love this saddle a lot, and Penny likes this saddle, uh, but Fiona says it doesn't fit me, even though it feels comfortable. I don't know, you're supposed to have two fingers between here and your leg, and my leg rests up against there, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all, so I don't know if, I don't know why that's a thing, personally, but anyway. So this is it, this is gonna be the trial saddle. 21 inches, and how tall is Gab? See, we're doing measurement in school today. What are you doing there, Ruby? Okay, so now we're measuring the barn. No, I'm not, I'm just cleaning up the measuring tape So how tall was uh, Molly? I don't know, she's too scared of the measuring tape to stand up straight. All right, well let's try and measure her. Let's she's measure gonna, you. That's good. Rob, and it's just gonna be like 21 inches. I bet you she's 22 inches because they're okay, really close. Ah, we're at the end. How many feet? 25 feet. 25 feet. Good girl. Yeah. About 19 or 20 inches. And how tall is she? 21. I'm guessing she's 21. Why did you not get a good, let's do a better accurate measurement on her. So you think she's about 19? I bet you she's about 19. She's tiny. Here, wait, stay, stay. You're okay. She's it's just a measurement. It's just a measurement. Oh, 20. She's 20? I, I don't know, I call. And you thought she was 19 or 20? Yeah. Let's hold them side by side. I swear she's taller. Okay. This is it. Daisy's oh, taller. Daisy's taller. Daisy's. The measurements were correct. Yeah. So 19 inches and 20 inches. Holy heck. So there you have it. We have the small dogs. We got the small dogs this year. 2020 was the year of the small dogs. We had a really long day of school today because it is Tuesday and it always takes us a lot longer. Uh, the first day back of the week to get all of our schooling done because I feel like the first day is the day that we get like the biggest jump on everything. It is 11.15 and we're ready to go to the barn. We have lessons wow. at one. We don't usually leave till like 12.15 and we're ready to go. Oh, is it actually 12.15? Holy crap, we're late. <laughs> We gotta go. <laughs> I gotta run down and feed the horses some lunch and then we're gonna go. So, there's a part underneath my socks that stays put, but it's slip my, my, it doesn't hurt because my skin shows. I gotta put my heel down. Then wear tall socks. Okay. She, I don't wear tall socks. She hates tall socks. That's why so I, I'm gonna I try have this. I, I made another one, but it was too short. So she doubled up on socks trying to fix her her breaking in her new shoes problem. Okay, so today we're gonna go out a different way to catch the horses. Lately my hair has just not been cooperating with me, you guys. I've been trying. But no matter what I do, unless I curl it, even when I curl it, it's just not working for me. Right. I can't breathe. No, no, you okay. gotta flip it. So All right. It All right, okay. here we go, let's try it. It just made out worse. Does it make it look worse? Let me see yours. Okay. Oh, yours does look better. What the heck? Okay. 
Okay, so we're doing super school where we were trying to feel our pulse. So we set a timer for one minute. We had to be quiet. I was laughing the whole time. Yeah, Sophie's that person. He's already oh running. Oh my gosh. No. You're, you're, <laughs> you're joking. Oh my gosh. Let's go the other way. I'm going this way. Literally, you go that way, Gabby. We'll cut them off. Literally, there <laughs> it's coming. Already running. Oh. They'll be they they'll think they're smart. We should be sneaking up on them. We should sneak up on them. Although we did sneak up on them one time recently. Oh, get a bush and... costume thing, and then as soon as you see them looking at us, <laughs> jump down and be a bush. <laughs> And then they'll come up to you and you go, Meow. Yeah, because that's going to go over well. She wants to pretend to be a bush and then jump out at them. But seriously, the other day we showed up and we must have been quiet and they weren't expecting us. And look on their face when they saw us. Yeah. The total craziness. I can't believe you. I can't believe they run from us. Oh, hi, Gary. Apparently this is not the cool spot to hang out now. I see Gabby over there. Stop breathing so hard. Let's be quiet and try and sneak up. Can I become a bush? Yeah, you become a bush. See how it works for you. All right, Gabby won. Good boy, you're so handsome. Yeah, you are. Storm's I like looking. I like warm blood head. I love his head. But head but you guys blood. missed it. Storm looked around that horse and he looked at us like, hmm, are you coming for me? No, he was making out with Oakley. Oh, like, seriously? <laughs> Finn, come on, you're the only one. Come on, Finn. What? Storm, one thing you guys might not know about Storm, honestly, that I love the most about this horse, he will not let anybody hurt somebody in his herd. The guy was, oh, see? Oh, Gabby, you better watch out. <laughs> Here, Gabby. Storm. Storm. Storm's ready for a fight. And there they go. I feel like Storm protects Finn over every other horse. Because, do you guys remember, not this winter that just passed, but the past, one before that, when we were at another barn, they shared, they shared a pen together, like a field together, just by themselves. And I swear, those two are like this. Like, Storm won't, so Storm's just standing there and I was scratching his bum and he was so happy and he was watching the whole thing happen. And as soon as Finn got too far away and he couldn't watch him, he went chasing after him to make sure that he was okay. God, I love that horse, I love him. And now I'm walking in the mud with my running shoes, because yeah, that's what I plan to do today. All right, <laughs> Storm, look at there, Storm. That's the thing I don't like about Storm. He is pooping. <laughs> He's looking over the fence. Like, Storm is always looking for the way out. I guess that's a part of being a good leader, too. All right, Gabby, you go, I'll wait here. Whoa. It gets caught in a tree. We should break that tree down. So, Tex, Gabby wants you to go chase her horses back here. Oh, and Oakley. Good, they See, both. they're all coming. Go, go get them. Run, get them running. No, Oakley will come. Oakley will run. We're their daily entertainment. They're like, yes, let's get them running. Let's exercise them. No. The, yeah, the horses are like. Our horses love us and our horses love Kaylee. Yeah, I know. It's always the way. Oh, it's not just our horses that run you guys like a lot of these horses put the run on their owners Maybe storm taught them it. I don't know. It could be right. Look at you handsome man. Go, go get them. Go get them Oakley yeah. Debbie you're gonna have to walk Oh look at Oakley. I'm coming boys I swear they're like ha huh, they won't leave us alone. Let's make them run for it. This is how we train the people. The horses are training us. Get this party started. I got the music playing loud. 
How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kind of proud. I got my dancing shoes on and I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get this party started. Yeah, we gon' be adventurous. We went to the club like we always do. This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested, thank you. Then she left the room. Bartender. I'll have the usual, give me the usual. I'll take the usual. Oh. All right, caught us a wild pony. I'd love to shoot a video out here, like an actual video in the woods. The horses were sitting in the field, bored as anything, and Storm looked up and saw us come in and was like, hey, who's up for a game of chase the people, make the people run, and all the other horses that were interested were like, yeah, so I'll throw down my hay and have a quick game with you guys. It'll be a good way to pass the time, I swear, like, they know so much more than we give them credit for. Beat you, Gabby went the long way, I went the short way. Oh, he's like, Finn! Is he all ready? No. I told her to groom him up. It took us a long time to catch Finn today. Did you, uh, did you brush him? No. Sophie mis must have misunderstood me. Oh, no. Is that just a bite? Not like to see marks like that. Boys, boys are always misbehaving. Everybody judges everybody. Why? What are you worried about? You heard people say Sophie. How did I start talking to the birds? When I walked in, Sophie was just standing against the wall, like do 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 do. So it's probably your guardian angel, Sophie. It's creepy. Yeah, but it was it a man or a woman? I don't know. I didn't see any bodies. I know, but is it a man's voice or a woman's voice? I think a woman's. Yeah, it's probably your guardian angel. She's really like, Sophie, I love you, Sophie. You're doing such a good job, Sophie. Well, why did she say that? What did it me? Because it's probably the only time you're listening. Did you guys know that the only time you can listen is when everything else is quiet? Did you know that, Sophie? Well, the birds were talking. Yeah, but still, it's because your heightened awareness. You're paying really close attention to sounds because you're feeling scared. So she's probably like, Sophie, I'm here for you. You're okay, Sophie. She honest, here. Uh oh, we're really late. This oh, is not good. I know. Once I got over the hill, I started running. Yeah, Gabby. Gabby did run. So Fiona brought cupcakes and peanut butter balls. Oh, we're outside, or inside? outside. I'm gonna go help set up jumps. Basically, everything that Gabby loves the best, and these are like salted caramel. Yeah, salted caramel. Homemade salted caramel in the middle. Of it. Homemade salted caramel in the middle. I can smell it. All right. Do you want one now, or you want one when you get on your horse? On her horse. Okay. Gabby likes to eat on her horse. Sophie does not like to eat. I do not because my helmet stops too tight, but I'm busy. Oh. She can't. Gabby's too busy to eat right now. Goodbye, boys. See you tomorrow. We'll be back. We're all done at the barn. Every time we come to the barn, it takes so much time now because all the boys have special stuff that we do to them. Like Storm has, we're treating his bum. Chino, we're giving him special stuff. And Storm is actually on special stuff too. So even at, oh, I see, I just saw Finn walking by. So even though uh, Gabby didn't ride a storm today, she still has to go back out into the field and give him his medicine. So we're waiting for her and then we're going to head home. It is 3.30 p.m. already. How'd you feel about your lesson today? Good. Yeah, so good, you guys. It's hot. Yeah, and uh, there's so many changes every single day. Like, I feel like this summer is going to be the summer that Gabby really gets Chino going. This is the, the, her second year with him, like the beginning of her second year. And I think by the end of this year, it'll make a big change for them. And I'm excited to see it. I actually, for the first time, got to really see his engine, his power. Like, he's going to be a powerful horse. Like, I can see how she's wild before she grows out of this guy. First one to the gate every time. Can you tell which one it is? So, I told you guys before that the girls are on a diet. And basically, what I'm trying is to turn on the light so I can see the hay. What I'm trying is giving them a little smaller amounts more frequently. So I'm trying to like give them morning, lunch, second lunch, and then supper. But, but just smaller amounts because you know what it feels like when you're on a diet. You feel hungry and I feel bad for them that they feel hungry. So I just give them a tiny bit. And I know when they're hungry because they'd be meeting me at the door. Uh-oh. Ah, don't 
don't run in, don't run in. And sometimes just having a little, oh, hello, kitty cat. Sometimes just having a little tiny bit every more frequently, like sometimes snacking is easier when you're on a diet. Hold on, don't be mean. Wait your turn. Ow, I got a stabbed right into me. All right. Here, little mini. Get the small one. Come on. Come on, Gracie. Come on. Come on, little girl. Come on. Gosh, you're a good pony. But you could be rolling in the mud all the time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a good girl. So the main reason that they're all on a diet is because of the mini. Blame it on your little mini. Blame it on your mini. See that eye up there. Oh. So our chiropractor's coming in a couple of weeks, in two weeks, and our vet is coming really soon. So I'm gonna address her eye again. Hey, everybody wants a piece. Wait. Okay, uh-oh. I dropped it. Uh-oh, get it. <laughs> For anybody who's been missing the kittens, the orange guy just ran by and then there's Lexi sitting there all pretty. Look how pretty she is. You are a cute kitty, Lexi. Doesn't she look really feminine? Yeah, you're pretty cute. And I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get this party started. Yeah, we gonna be adventurous. We went to the club like we always do. This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested, thank you. Then she left the room. Bartender. I'll have the usual. Give me the usual. I'll take the usual. interacted with Penny or done something significant with her like riding her or just doing something that like means something to her I always feel I always get a weird feeling inside me like my body knows naturally when I need to work with Penny and I need to work with Penny so I'm gonna let them have their pre-supper and then I'm gonna take her for a little walk around the property I'm excited to do it like when I even just talk about it I get butterflies in my stomach and I know that my girls feel the same about the stuff that they do with their horses and when they ride them it's such a euphoric feeling but just walking her around letting her eat grass is such an amazing experience for me and hopefully for her too don't you know that you're beautiful just the way you are No